Hi y'all, Clint Long here with part two of Williamson County Real Estate. Rewind to 1989. I had listed a house that was partially complete. The seller, after having girlfriend problems, decided to move out of state and said sell it as is. We discovered that the footprint of the house was in the 500 year floodplain and only a few feet away from the 100 year floodplain. The light blue on the current GIS print screen shows the huge area of the 100-year floodplain, and the green shows the 500-year floodplain. Fast forward eight years later, and Steve Manero was knocking on the doors wanting to buy that house. The Titans had come to town. The tax sheet refers to the mountain parcel number, the location of warranty deeds, and the subdivision plan, which reveals the floodplain plus the sales history of the property on Cotton Lane. Let's investigate. First buyer. The warranty deed reveals that the lot went to the center line of the Harpeth River. First clue. McNair's purchase. Detailed information is available on the plan. The warranty deed makes reference to the flood elevation. It would be rare, however, for most agents to pull and read the warranty deed. The listing in 2005 when McNair sold made no mention of the floodplain. The agent's comment, show and sell. Maybe it should have said, buyer beware. This warranty deed when McNair sold in 2005 failed to indicate a flood area, but does make reference to the plat. Pull a plat to analyze the site. 2010 shows a building permit for repair of flood damage. Who would have thunk it? My personal experience in Williamson County real estate dates back to 1978 when we first moved to Middle Tennessee. Two of my three kids went through the Williamson County school system. Why is my experience in Williamson County important? History repeats itself. Successful subdivisions, less than successful subdivisions, plus mental images of floods, landslides, septic failures, poor political decisions, etc. Early 80s, real estate office in Maryland Farms in Brentwood. That's me on the left, counseling a couple on Williamson County neighborhoods. Teaching real estate finance for 10 years. At a local board not long ago, four lenders put on a finance seminar with only 17 people present, and five of them were lenders. At the lead generation meeting, there was over 200 attendees hearing the mantra, play the percentages and let the mortgage company handle all the details. Does the real estate industry remember a recent housing bubble? Late 1980s, as managing broker for a real estate company in Franklin, my personal knowledge of Williamson County real estate grows. April 1989, my article on choosing the right mortgage lender. I've been updating my understanding of the roller coaster policies of the different lenders ever since. Mortgage financing is critical in a home sale. Back on the market listings claim the bad lender turned the buyer down at the last minute. Horse hockey. The listing agents didn't know the warning signs or how to monitor the steps of a loan process. Downtown Franklin, early 2000. I had my appraisal office behind St. Philip's Church and way too close to Dotson's Restaurant. Good food, more weight. Soccer coaching for over a 10 year period. With mortgage rates rising 20% and weekends occupied with soccer, it was either take a different direction in real estate or get a premature divorce. Thus began 20 years of appraising real estate. Lisa, the youngest, graduated from Ravenwood High School in 2005 and from nursing school in 2010. Real estate sales is again priority. Brentwood soccer teams, 88, 89. Uh, Brentwood soccer teams, 91, 93. Lucy Ribs Long, Lisa's friend Shelby, a Franklin High graduate, was getting married at Keish Lakai Mountaintop Lodge near McMinnville. Lisa had texted a picture the day before saying she wished she could save the stray dog. I said, forget it. The next day after the wedding, I met Lisa at the lodge. We gave Lucy a bath and took her home. Emaciated, Lucy went from 13 to 32 pounds in six weeks. Back to serious real estate. The 1977 publication of the Soil Conservation District, now out of print. I had to take two courses in geology while majoring in 
real estate at U of T in the early 70s. I didn't understand what rocks had to do with real estate back then. Types of soils map for the whole county. Description of rock outcropping. The final cost of land is the sales price plus the cost of the infrastructure. This is the index for searching for soil types in a specific area. Start with the end goal in mind, then estimate the additional cost. Test points could save a lot of money. My oldest son, Chad, holding him an MLS book at 13 months old, and then a picture of Chad, 32, at the vets. He worked for Dree's Home Builders and Acres Custom Homes for about four years. Cody's been in the remodeling and restoration for 12 years since age 16, and Lisa is a trauma nurse at Vanderbilt. The bottom right picture is Chad's sixth grade science project, test boings of a real estate project and landslides. I grew my own consultants. This was a landslide no kill, one mile north of Brentwood. Landslides are more common in heavy rains and events like the 2010 flood. Lawsuit against the builder. Should have studied geology and tested the soil. Homes in the county and some older homes in the city have septic tanks. Percolation or soil test determine the absorption rate for septic fields. Flood index map. Flood information is required on an appraisal. This is not research most agents are interested in or equipped to perform. This map shows the notes in flood le legend. Close up of floodway and floodplain. This picture is at Concord Road near Nolensville Road. Nashville's 2010 flood happened in some areas that were outside the 100 year floodplain, but were elevations marginal in those areas? Topography maps let you identify marginal elevations. Floodplain mapping is often inadequate. After we analyze the county, cities, communities, and the neighborhoods, we want to evaluate a specific property. Most agents use the entry level comparative market analysis. Using a de Using a CMA to determine values is like white herb taking a knife to the gunfight at the OK Corral. Sales price divided by square foot equals price per square foot fails to account for numerous differences. Experience in using appraisal techniques and software allows you to make a superior comparison and analysis of the property. Individual adjustments, recent sales compared to your house, line item comparisons, and adjustments on location, size, style, age, quality, condition, seller concessions, acreage, number of baths, location, are all critical. See my other real estate videos at www.clintlongtn.com.